Hello and welcome to our guitar. Hope you're doing great. Uh, I don't know why I always say that. I guess my vocabulary is a bit limited or I'm just stuck in uh, in the old circles. Anyway, it's time for an amazing uh, unboxing video here at Have Guitar. Been a while since I did one because I haven't bought anything. That's kind of logical, I think. So, uh, big box. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's uh, continue with the unboxing. Continue. I haven't started. Oh, I need a knife. Now oh, that's practical. <laughs> the tricks you can do with the movies is just unbelievable. It's better than I almost said Jurassic Park, but that's kind of old, isn't it? But it's still good, according to me. The first part, at least. Just chit-chatting while I'm trying to get the box open. I think I have to stand up because as I said, it's a really big box. Getting the content out isn't that easy as it can seem. But there's something. The big box is giving birth to a smaller box. I think we'll wait with this one and see what's uh, there's something more inside uh, the really big box. Any hints here? No. I don't think so anyway. Something. Yahoo! Okay, so the strings are. All of them are nine uh, sets. 009 or whatever you call them. Paradigm. Can you see that? I think it's. Yeah. Then you have GHS Nickel Rockers. Like that. Gear for music, electric guitar strings. But they've sent me the wrong one. This is a uh, 010. Never mind. You see that? That also gives away from where the package came. It's the first time I order something from Gear for Music. Um, I think they have the office and the store and stuff like that in London or in the UK at least. Then we have uh, a set of strings I haven't tried for a really long time. Dean Markley, Blue Steel. So four completely different sets. You might wonder what I'm going to do with them. I will put them on my guitars. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that funny, right? No, it's for another video. Uh, a video that will take a little longer to record. Because this, these are strings ranging from like... Uh, I don't remember exactly which was the cheapest. I think the gear for music was like... Three or four dollars to maybe it was the paradigm that was the most expensive that were like uh, twenty dollars or just below twenty dollars really expensive strings so that will be a video where we test the tone but also uh, the longevity of the strings so I will have to keep them at least a couple of weeks on uh, a specific guitar record some samples when they are brand new record some samples of the couple of weeks and I guess I will only play on that guitar for those weeks, right? And then we can make a little uh, assessment of if <laughs> the <laughs> expensive strings are worth it or not. Exciting! Yes! And this is... Uh, I actually thought it was a little bit wider. It's a, it's a strap. It is, it is a strap. <laughs> it's leather and it's very, very white. And if everything goes according to plans, this will, uh, I can see that the camera is reacting to the white color. Yeah, anyway, uh, if this goes as planned, this will go very well to the thing that's in the large, but not the largest box. Well, it was in the largest box. I'm going to stop now. That's silly. You know what I mean. Okay, so over to this one. It's... Uh, can you see that? Epiphone. And then there was some slogan. Per performance is our passion. That sounds great. So what is in this box now then? It's the right one. I was a bit worried because they sent out two. Uh, one tobacco and one white. I wanted the white because that's a little bit more high-end. 
and this is the right. Can you see what it is? I'm not sure hardly that I can, but um, okay. Let's see here. Rubber band. And with that said, this is a brand Epiphone. Uh, I've tried a couple of uh, Epiphone guitars. I have not been too happy with them. I'm not saying that there are not any Epiphone guitars that are good. I'm pretty sure there are. Because they have some uh, good reputation, I think. But this is something completely different, as Monty Python should have said it. Ah, looks familiar. Oh man, it looks really nice. I must say it looks really nice. Let's get the plastic off. It's one of my all-time favorite models when it comes to guitars and basses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's a Thunderbird, a bass. Wow. I must say wow, the finish is just uh, the finish is just great. And the neck feels really nice. It's long, but it's uh, it's really low in tune. <laughs> I have to try it out. I did a real rookie mistake, and that mistake was I'm poking you. Yeah, I'm poking you. The mistake was that I did not order. I ordered four packs of guitar strings, as you just saw. I did not order ba new bass strings. So this would be the factory strings on it. But my God, this. Uh, I don't know what you say, but according to me, it's just beautiful. Let's get up and close so you can see a little bit more. That nice Firebird logo, just love it. Two volume controls, one tone control, two Gibson pickups. The back. So this is an Epiphone Thunderbird Classic 4 Pro. So here's the thing, I've never had a good bass. Uh, I've had a Samic for many many years. Uh, then the pickups fell into the cavities for some reason. I don't know what happened to it. And it was so cheap, I just uh, was too lazy to get that fixed. But it's still hanging on my wall here. That bass sounded really good by its own, but it never sat really well in the mix. Uh, so then I got a Squire Jazz bass, bass I think it was, uh, which I didn't like even though I switched the pickups in that one. Never came to terms with that one even though I played real Fender Jazz basses that were really really nice to play. Uh, so I traded out for an Ibanez, I don't know the model, but it's the five string that you might have seen in some of my videos. And I don't know, I thought five strings, that's really cool. You can do some really heavy stuff with that, but it, the fifth string, when I play it, always sounds like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just a low growl that doesn't really come through in the mix ever, so to speak. So I was looking at, thinking about buying a new bass, and I was looking at Holly Benton as I bought that Tele, the Black Paisley. Then I saw a review where I said that now you can you, you you'd be better off getting the Epiphone Thunderbird, which has been recommended to me before uh, by friends, and uh, I've seen it getting some good rep on the internet as well. So I started to look at the the lower end model, but ordered one quicker than I could think. Uh, but I should have thought about it a little bit more because then I read a little bit more about these. Uh, Epiphone Thunderbirds and I said that the Classic 4 Pro model is just out of bounds when it comes to quality compared with the... Uh, can you say it like that? Isn't out of bounds something bad? Never mind, I think you know what I mean. Uh, you can't compare the two models. This, this, uh, the Classic 4 Pro 
according to some people that I've read online on forums and reviews. They claim that this one is equally good uh, as, the, as the real deal, the Gibson Thunderbird. I have no idea, I can't really comment on that one, but there were people who had uh, real Thunderbirds, Gibson Thunderbirds. There was even a couple who had sold their Gibson to buy one of these instead. Um, and that kind of convinced me that this is what I should have. And if it, if it plays, if it plays and sounds as good as it looks, then it's really what uh, I will keep, I think. The neck feels amazing. I've never felt a bass that had a neck like this. It's very, it's not broad or wide. It's very, very, oh, and the finish is just there. Uh, I'm really amazed. I, I did not expect it to, to look and feel this nice. So that's a good thing. It's made in Indonesia. But you will not get any sound samples or any more uh, blah 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 from me in this video. Because uh, I will play with it for a little while and then I will record a uh, review video of course. You know, I gotta take my chances. It's not that often I get new equipment into the studio, but when I do, you get you will get to see it, I promise you that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching my little unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know that I did. I'm in love. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a weakness for white instruments. I have to confess that. So uh, if you like it and you don't sub subscribe, please do that to support Have Guitar. Uh, I am begging you on my bannies as I always do uh, and to you who already do subscribe thanks a lot and hats off to you uh, I love you all <laughs> uh, with that said uh, I think um, yeah it's sad to say but it's the end of this video so until the next video a new video every Thursday you know uh, check out the links in the description for social media etc other useful information and other useful links. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, play hard and be well till the next video then. Goodbye.